Hi, good morning. Today we are going to learn how to relax our uh, brain. Okay, to relax our brain, we need to have uh, first of all make our brain tired in such a way that it can relax well. So for that, the first and foremost uh, yoga which we should do is Brahma Mudra. Very simply, stiff your neck, turn it, open your eyes. normal respiration come back on other side this you can do it almost 5 to 8 iterations the second that you can touch your chin to your chest and try this close your eyes normal respiration try to touch your ear to shoulder and you will find a kind of those who have any problem in bending backward they should not do it or forward they should not do it the third one is opposite side very simply okay and depending on your capacity you can do the iterations uh, the one which actually tires the brain is also a very high breathing technique uh, this is a type of ujjayi pranayam so here you put your both the hands this way here and start the ujjayi with the breath out in a more uh, more time required to breathe out and less time required to breathe in so breathe in breathe out so when breathe out you have to have tummy in so breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out and the breathing should be here this way with a sound inside twenty iterations you may have a dizziness in this case okay but it's a one technique to relax your brain sadharan ujjayi this is known as this is madhya ujjayi okay again breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out so here this mouth and nasal cavity you should have a sound breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out so 20 iterations of that and the 20 iterations of urdho ujjayi breathe in breathe out again sound in the mouth breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out so 20 iterations of that and lastly very slowly 20 iterations of breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out if you do it continuously you will find that you may have a little bit of numbness iron and tiredness in your brain this also stimulates the vagal nerve of your body and vagal nerve has innervations in the stomach in the lungs liver and that's why this part get activated as well as you are actually exhaling more amount of carbon dioxide as a result of it there is basicity or alkalinity occurs in the blood and which is very good for brain so quite possible that your sometimes your migraine problem or sometimes the uh, problems to the brain because of acidity may reduce those who who would like to do it please they should consult the doctors first and do it don't do it without consulting your doctors this is just a try to make the people informed with a very small small yoga uh, for relaxing the brain 
the the well known uh, pranayam you can do which is anulom vilom nadi shuddhi nadi shodhan or alternate nostril breathing pranayam so you can close your right nostril have a mula band that is by pulling your anal muscles breathe in breathe out by closing your left nostril breathe out by right nostril stay there breathe in by right nostril stay there close your right nostril and breathe out by left nostril this is one iteration of anulom vilom pranayam and such iterations if you do it very slowly slowly where the breath in time is generally half the breath out time you will find the whole brain get relaxed it is known as nadi shuddhi because it cleans the nerve there is no other technique to clean the nerves and uh, it balances the whole body this seems to be many people they think that this is a very time waste uh, just breathing and breath out uh, but it's not like that it is already given by our epics uh, of yoga uh, by swami swatmaram uh, even the shiva sanhita and many epics they say anulom vilom pranayam is the best pranayam for anybody um, for uh, in any condition okay but definitely you have to you have to connect to your doctor you have to connect to your physician for doing any yoga let's do one more that is a brahmari uh, and this is a very good for brain and ent all so in this brahmari what we need to do we need to put your put our fingers here over the eyebrows one is very slowly on our eyes don't don't press it too much okay one uh, is just beside the nose one is just below the mouth and two thumbs put it inside take a deep breath and then while breathing out do the humming sound so breathe in and breathe out with the humming sound mm mm-hmm. when you do brahmari you should take one breath in after that and breathe out the reason initially you should do this because it may happen that you may overdo it okay so it should be done with the proper yoga uh, teacher okay and you can have a mulvand that is a uh, lifting of our anal muscles you can have mule vanda while doing the anulom vilom uh, pranayam so uh, these are the uh, two very important pranayam uh, basically they are without kumbhak okay so there is no stoppage of any uh, breathing okay and these are these are to be done in iterations at least uh, uh, 15 to 20 minutes every day in the morning and uh, evening also so any time you can do it anulom vilom <clears throat> another pranayam which cools down the brain is a chandra vedan pranayam so this is basically cooling down pranayam and only by left nostril you have to breathe in and breathe out by either both the nostrils or by right nostril so this way breathe in breathe out breathe in close your right nostril breathe in the left nostril breathe out breathe in breathe out so you'll find this cool down your body <coughs> another uh a kriya what you can say which cool down the brain is shit kari kriya and here you have to just put your both the side of the teeth over each other and breathe in 
through mouth gallop the air and breathe out through nose again breathe in gallop the air and breathe out completely through nose again there should be mool band during this pranayama also okay then go for the again the another cooling technique that is a sheetali so make a tunnel of your tongue breathe in by tongue and mouth swallow the air and breathe out by nose such at least 50 iterations if you do it will reduce your complete acidity it will also cool down your brain and this helps to our nervous system also there is one more that is a sadanta pranayam and this particular pranayam when you actually put your both the teeth the back of teeth to each other and breathe in again by mouth swallow the air breathe out by nose mool bandha is important again swallow the air gallop the air and breathe out by nose this is the sadanta pranayam which cools down our body so that is a another pranayam which actually uh, reduce our sometime most time headache also now you will find that when you have done this your body temperature will be down you will feel cool and you can also have a kind of uh, yoga nidra or you can close your eyes try to concentrate here but don't take your eyeballs up try to concentrate on this portion of it take a deep breath breathe out smile on the face take a deep breath breathe out take a deep breath breathe out imagine you are cool relax breathe in breathe out such a breathing you should carry out at least for 10 to 15 minutes and this whole one hour i just crunch this all uh, yoga in a very short period of time but you can practice all multiple times and such breathing yogic breathing you should do it for 10 to 15 minutes and believe me lot of neurological problems will be prevented the body will cool down and you will have a smile it will actually make your skin very good thank you thank you very much